in the data type page, uh, you typically check uh, first uh, that uh, the data type uh, chosen for the columns uh, is exactly what you would expect uh, by the source data. So if you have uh, a column that is expected to store an integer and it is imported as a currency or as a floating point, then you can check it from here. Moreover, you can also do some reasoning about the size of the column. Because if you look at strings, it is totally expected to have a dictionary size, which is very large, because strings generate dictionaries which are very large. Whereas when you look at integers or numbers in general, if you expect a lot of value encoding, then the dictionary size should be small enough. You can quickly look at the data types from here. Or you can expand, for example, you can expand the double and you see that the only two columns which are stored as double are the promotion discount and the store selling area. Whereas in the integer 64, you have most of the other columns. As I said, the most important part and the reason of, the reason of being of this page is basically to check the kind of data type chosen for every column and be sure that your model has been imported the right way.